Space-time manipulation theory. For a long time it was assumed that time travel, as most people understand it, was impossible. Not only did it seem to break the fundamental laws of physics, but, as many people pointed out, if time travel were possible, surely we would be besieged by time travellers from the future. As far as the Vulcans were concerned, this last argument was prima facie proof that time travel was impossible. However, even in Earth's early 20th century, it was clear that time did not always progress at the same apparent rate. For example, Einstein produced a theoretical proof that the stronger gravity is, the more slowly time passes, at least relative to a place with less gravity. There appear to be many bizarre phenomena relating to time, and Starfleet has encountered areas of space where time moves at different speeds, repeats itself, and even goes backwards. There is also highly contested evidence that time travellers have been interfering with the normal passage of history. However, final proof that time travel is possible was only discovered in 2266 by the crew of the USS Enterprise, 1701, when they were forced to perform a cold start of their warp engines. Somehow, the warp field generated a serious distortion in the fabric of space-time, causing the ship to travel 71 hours into the past. A few months later, the Enterprise crew travelled much further into the past after an encounter with a black hole. This time they were stranded in 1969 and narrowly avoided damage in history. After the Enterprise was spotted by US Air Force, the crew took a pilot called John Christopher on board the ship. They considered taking him with them, but realised that this would have prevented the birth of Corn Colonel Sean Christopher, who would command the first Earth-Saturn probe mission. Ultimately, they were able to return John Christopher to a moment in time, just before he encountered them. In order to return to their own time, the crew developed a working theory of time travel. This involved combining the distortions in space-time caused by a starship's warp drive with the gravitational forces close to a star. The starship has to fly incredibly close to the star, breaking free at a carefully chosen moment, opening a channel through time. Determining the exact amount of time covered requires some extremely precise calculations involving the mass of the ship, the gravitational field of the star, and the distortion caused by the warp engines. However, it is a method of time travel that has been replicated successfully, not least in 2286, when then Admiral Kirk and his crew used, to, used it to bring two humpback whales to the 23rd century. It has also been shown that the fabric of space can be damaged by warp core breaches and substantial matter-antimatter detonations caused by repeated photon torpedo blasts. In some cases, these have been shown to open rifts through time. The Enterprise 1701C travelled through a rift created in this way during the Battle of Naranda 3. The results of this kind of damage are impossible to predict, and it is not a reliable method of time travel. Starfleet has discovered several more reliable methods of travelling through time. The most impressive is the Guardian of Forever, an extraordinary sentient device that can create portals to anywhere in time and space. The Guardian was created over 5 billion years ago by an ancient and incredibly advanced race. The crew of the original Enterprise encountered it in 2267, and it was one of Captain Kirk's most significant discoveries during his initial five-year mission. However, the dangers of using it soon became apparent when on the first trip through it, Dr. McCoy saved the life of Edith Keeler, a charity worker in New York in the 1930s. In the new timeline, she campaigned for peace, and this changed the course of history, delaying America's entry into World War II and allowing the Nazis to win. Kirk was forced to correct the timeline by allowing Keeler to die. This enterprise crew also encountered time portal technology on the planet Sapedian, shortly before it was destroyed by the supernova of the star Beta Neobe in 2269. It is not known how the Sapedian used time travel to create portals that allowed them to escape into their own past. By the 24th century, Starfleet had discovered chronotons, quantum particles that could be manipulated to distort space-time to allow time travel. These were used by the Borg to travel to Earth's past in an attempt to prevent Zephyrin Cochrane's first warp flight. The possibility of time travel and the dangers it posed led the Federation to establish a temporal prime directive, which instructed any personal travelling through time to make minimal contact with people in the past, never to offer them assistance and to keep any interference to an absolute minimum. The Federation Department of Temporal Investigations was set up to investigate any incidents of time travel. Perhaps unsurprisingly, James D. Kirk had the largest file on the records with 17 separate violations. The Federation also had encountered dimensions and even beings that exist outside of normal space-time. Captain Kirk was swept into the Nexus, a dimension that exists out of time in 2293, but was able to leave it in 2371 without ageing. 
The Bajoran prophets, a race of incredibly powerful beings that live inside the Bajoran wormhole, exist outside of linear time. An artifact known as the Orb of Time, which apparently originated inside the wormhole, is also capable of sending people back. <clears throat> In the Delta Quadrant, the Krenim used time travel technology to launch a temporal weapon ship that existed outside normal space-time that could wipe their enemies out of history. Unfortunately for them, the consequences of their interference with the timeline were too difficult to predict, and they kept altering history in a desperate attempt to destroy everything that they had destroyed. Ultimately, the weapon ship itself was raised from history, restoring the original timeline before the Krenim began to interfere with its course. Starfleet is also familiar with the Q, an apparently omnipotent race who can travel through time using nothing more than a thought. In the future, it seems that time travel will become commonplace, but no less dangerous. It appears that by the 31st century, there will be a temporal cold war, with different factions interfering in the past for their own benefit. The Enterprise NX-01 was one of the focal points of this temporal cold war. Captain Archer seems to have prevented any serious damage, but of course, the difficulty with time travel is that no one can ever be certain.